All right. So in this video, we are going to talk about test four of Cambridge IELTS 13. And this is writing task one, which is report writing for the students of academic IELTS. Let's read the question statement and then we will read the data. The plans below show the layout of a university sports center now and how it would look after redevelopment. Summarize information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. So this is a statement you would have seen with every kind of a question. And we this what does it tell us? I would repeat it one more time that this tells that we are not going to include each and every detail of the data. And also we have to make comparisons, OK? Now let's look at the question statement again. The plan, the plans below show the layout of a university's sports center. So there's a university and it has a sports center. And there are two maps actually uh, that are, one is the current one, that how does the sports center look right now and how it would look after redevelopment. So there is a redevelopment plan for it. Now let's look at the maps. I would uh, zoom it out a little because I want you, okay, uh, you know, the first thing that we do whenever we have such uh, data is that we read the title that is given to this data, University Sports Center present, and then this one is the future plan. So I can just scroll it a little down because I know, I already know that what it is the uh, university sports center. This is the one that is uh, the current state of it. And this is the map that shows uh, the state of the university sports center. It would be after a uh, redevelopment plan. Okay. So in the first one, we can see, let's look at the first one first. We can see that there is a pool in the center, right? Then we have a reception area that leads to this pool. Then uh, towards the east of it is the sitting area, is the seating area. The towards the west of it is a changing room. Towards the north there is a gym. And then there are outdoor courts on the west and the east side of it. So it's quite a simple plan where there is a reception, you enter it, there is a pool on towards the right of the pool or towards the east of the pool, we can say that there is a seating arrangement, then towards the left of it is a changing room and towards the north of it is the gym area. So that's basically very clear, very evident and there are two outdoor courts on the either side of the pool. So it's very basic and simple. Now let's look at the plan that would be there in the future. Now, first we will find out the things that are similar, that are already there. So starting off with the pool that I mentioned first, for the pool there is a reception area of course, towards the east of it there is a seating area, towards the west of it is the changing room. Do you agree that it's just the same? Right? So far it's just the same. Then let's look at the gym. We know that towards the north, there was already a gym, but here, the area of the gym has been extended. This is the first thing that I noticed in this one, right? Okay, now in the upper one, I knew that on the east side, there, there was an outdoor court, sim, uh, outdoor court sim, uh, simply, but in the developed plan, let me see how the outdoor court has been uh, replaced by different stuff. So I can see that there is a sports hall and you know whenever we are making comparisons so we start numbering the differences so that we know how much things have we found out and how are we going to put them in our report. So this is the first thing that the gym area has been extended right. The second thing is the sports hall that a sports hall has been introduced over here. The third thing is two dance studios are made towards the east of it. This is the third point. Now we can see that another changing room has been introduced first. Initially it was just on the west of the pool but now I can see that there is a uh, changing room towards the east, southeast of the uh, pool basically. So another one has been introduced over here. Then towards the west of this changing room, I can see that there is a cafe which wasn't there before. So this is the first, the fifth thing that has been introduced. Now, 
coming to the west of the main plan there is a leisure pool this is also a new advancement that wasn't there before so this is the sixth point that i could notice then towards the south of this leisure pool i can see that there is another changing room number seven and then a sports shop that is number eight so these are all eight different things that have been introduced in the future plan of it i repeat changing room has been multiplied into three actually so now there are three changing rooms this changing room belongs to this leisure club and this one is for the sports hall or maybe the people who would be taking part in the dancing activities they would be doing uh, they would be using this changing room so we, i can see that for this central pool, this changing room is the same, but two new changing rooms have been introduced for different activities. Secondly, um, the gym area has been, uh, you know, extended. A sports hall has been made. First of all, you know, initially it was just an outdoor court, but now it has been improvised and has been made a sports hall. Then a cafe has been introduced. A sports shop has been introduced so a lot of changes improvements have been made um, in the future plan now let's look at the sample answer and see if uh, it has satisfied all our points okay the given two maps illustrate the recent architectural situation in a university sports center and a proposal for its modification in the future so that's just the paraphrasing of the question statement where there the recent the current one and then there would be one that is proposed for the future let's talk about the body para one currently there are two smaller outdoor courts located respectively on the east and west sides of the sports center we noticed it the main building consists of a gym, a changing room and a seating area which are located on each side of the construction. Again, we know we had highlighted it. Additionally, a reception which immediately faces the north is opposite to the entrance. Again, we knew that there is a reception. Behind this is a pool that extends for approximately 25 meters and is accessible to a changing room to the west of it. So just as we know that we never uh, say towards the right of something, towards the left of something, we actually use these uh, cardinal direction like east, west, north and south in, in while writing a report. So keeping in view these cardinal direction, in the first paragraph they have just simply uh, mentioned how the current plan looks like how the current architectural uh, situation of um, this pool or this sports center looks like so i hope you know that all these points we have already discussed in our data and they have just put them into words now let's look at the next paragraph what does it say according to the future plans the main building will integrate a very good word to use in a report it will integrate two outdoor courts and become one ent entirety so yes the two outdoor courts they are not joined they are now joined together and they have become one part right the original layout of the main area will remain in their current position so remember when i was doing the second map i showed you that first of all we are going to highlight the things or encircle the things that are already in the same position so yes the few points were that the main area will remain the same in its current state while the gym on the very north end is planned to stretch this was the first point that i told you that the gym area has been extended furthermore a sports hall will be added close to the seating area opposite to uh, opposite to it to the south will be a cafe and a new changing room and to the east will be two down, dance studios so we already highlighted a sports hall that has been added to closer to the seating area then we have a cafe that has been introduced and a new changing room that and two dance studios we had already mentioned all these points that they are introduced meanwhile a leisure pool will will be built on the west side from which will be reachable to and to another uh, new changing room that is next to the sports shop so we knew that on the west they have built a leisure pool which will be closer to another changing room and there will be a sports shop as well so they have already mentioned while keeping 
uh, while taking care of the cardinal directions, they have just simply mentioned how the things are included in the uh, proposal plan. In summary, a significant alternation will be made to this sports center in the future. So please, uh, I'll, I'll mention a very small but a very critical point here that you can't write uh, you know, you, the question statement said that there is a current plan and there is a future plan. It hasn't been implemented yet. So please do not make a mistake of writing that it has already been done, right? Please keep in mind what the question says and you have to stick to your keywords that it is a future plan. It's not done already. So see, they have said that a significant alteration will be made to this uh, sports center in the future. They have not mentioned that it has already been done. So be, be very particular and careful while choosing words in your report writing. So they have simply mentioned it. You can extend this summary if you want and if you have time, you can summarize it very quickly. It's easier in that way. So that's all about this uh, writing task that is report writing.